Well, Coach, as promised yesterday, a shorter practice today. Tell me what you saw. Well, I thought our guys recovered a lot better than what I even thought they were. So you kind of get a gauge on where they are and how the recovery is going. Because at this point, it's about recovering before you go the next day. You know, and there's a lot of factors that goes into that. You know, these, these guys got to be sleeping right. They got to be eating right and recovering, gaining their weight back. And uh, the training staff does a great job. And, and Gavin in the weight room does a great job of getting these guys, you know, back recovered for the next day. So uh, we'll push a little further every day, you know, and we're going to follow this. You know, um, hard one day and a little lighter the next day till we get in you know, kind of a routine of that and our bodies get built a tolerance up to it. So uh, they've done good so far. During these early practices, especially with no shells or pads or anything like that on, you stress staying up, staying off the ground. Tell me about that philosophy and really kind of drilling that into the guys during these practices. Well, it's big. It's kind of like every uh, time you know, in, the, in the summer like this, you, you know, in fall camp, you want to stay off the ground, uh, avoid injuries. Uh, we'll have some practice when we get in full pads. We'll, we'll go to the ground and we'll butt up. But you know, right now we're hip off, stay off the ground and you know, protect these guys. Like I told them yesterday, you want, you want to get everybody to the game. You don't have injuries in practice. But you know, this game's a physical game. It's not played in shorts. So you got to eventually get into pads uh, when we can here in a few days and you know start blocking and tackling and, and build up kind of uh, some calluses to that so you know that's what typically fall camps for and can't wait to get this bunch in, in shells tomorrow you'll be able to do a little bit more and you'll hit a little bit of thudding around uh, when we get in shells tomorrow and then you know a couple days of that and then we get to get in pads with the pandemic going on it's still early august it's still a very hot day out here in alabama you can't just grab a Powerade bottle anymore. What's the water situation like now on practice days? Well, we get these gallon jugs, and everybody's got their own gallon jug, and they've done really good with it. It's kind of hard to go through a practice as fast as we practice and what we do uh, and keep up with the water jug yourself. But guys have done really good. They know where it's at on the side, and we are taking a little more lengthy breaks uh, just so we can maintain social distancing and you know they can get to their water because the water is not being brought to them. Uh, the biggest negative I see, um, we'll just have to see how this goes with, is um, you know time goes on with practices, uh, is just not getting water during a rep, you know, uh, after a rep. You know, when you come out, you run your four or five plays, you come out over the side. We usually have water bottles right there, and they can get water anytime they want, as long as they're not running the play. So you lose that effect with these water bottles. That's the reason why I have to take a little bit after each group period, have to take a little bit longer break so they can get to their water and water down plenty. Recovery was your big focus yesterday in the weight room. What's it going to be like today when you go back in there? Uh, we'll lift today, and then uh, tomorrow we'll have another recovery uh, deal. We won't lift, but a couple times, two or three times a week right now, and mostly the stuff done in the weight room will be a recovery aspect of that. And, uh, yeah, we just, we're coming a long way with that.